Hello, my name is Daniel Blumberg and I'm a Master's of Sustainable Design student taking Professor Walter's ARC 6911 class. This presentation will be focusing on existing conditions research for Singapore's agricultural and food production. Geography and population matters. Singapore is an island nation covering 687 square kilometers with a population estimate of 5.6 million people. This equates out to a population density of 8,259 people per square kilometer. The comparatively sized U.S. city of El Paso, Texas, has a population of 679,000 people as of 2014 and a population density of 1,028 per square kilometer. Looking at it another way, this slide shows an eminent issue confronting Singapore in that it is a very confined geographic area with a high population. This picture shows graphically just how small the island is when compared to the U.S. state of Florida. Approximately 1% of Singapore's land is devoted to agriculture, which equates out to about 6.87 square kilometers. Singapore's domestic vegetable farms produced 20 million Singaporean dollars worth of sales, which is equivalent to about 13.9 million U.S. dollars worth of sales. Singapore recognizes with its current population agricultural base, it cannot currently be self-sufficient, nor does it look like it will be possible for it to be self-sufficient in the near future. Based on the current numbers, Singapore produces only 10% of its required food. This means Singapore annually has to import some 478.8 million kilograms of food to feed its population. Urban agriculture, whereby food production is accomplished in a city setting, will be a requirement if the Agri-Food and Veterinarian Authority of Singapore, the AVA, is to meet its goals of increasing its self-sufficiency levels. The AVA, in coordination with the Singapore Land Authority, SLA, has guided the establishment of six primary agro-technology parks within the country to help meet its goals of increased self-sufficiency. These two images are the plot layouts of the Lim Chu Kang and Murray Agrotechnology Parks. As you can see, the Lim Chu Kang Agrotechnology Park is set up so that it is producing vegetables, poultry, cattle, goats, orchards, aquatic plants, fish, and other marine animals. These two layouts are of the Sungai Tenga and Ni Soon Farmland Agrotechnology Parks. These two are the Mande and Luoyang Agrotechnology Parks. And as you can see, most of the parks have different focuses. The Mande Agrotechnology Park, as an example, is focused more on orchard and ornamental farms with some bird breeding, where the Luoyang Agrotechnology Park is focused more on aquaculture farming with some bird breeding and dog breeding availability as well. One of the means to reach the increased self-sufficiency goal is by implementing vertical gardening. Sky Greens is a Singaporean started company that has designed an indoor vertical gardening solution to allow for vegetable production and currently produces Nai Bei, Sai Zin, Zhao Bai Sai, Chinese cabbage, Mao Bai, lettuce, Bayam, Kai Lan, Kang Kong, and spinach vegetables. Singapore continues to redevelop its land and is constantly improving. The agri-technology centers are a great incubator of new growing ideas and techniques. Singapore prides itself on connecting people with the environment. To be able to continue to meet the needs of society, community gardens and new agri-technology centers should be planned for within the premises of new apartments and condominium construction. This would allow for the residents to take part in food production and reduce their reliance on imported food. Growing some of their own food would also allow the residents to partake in a multitude of benefits from educational to improved health to strengthening community bonds.